Hi, Nancy from Metal here. Today's tutorial will show you how to do the Spider-Man title sequence all in After Effects. We're going to do it using Metal's Shapeshifter AE. So let's begin by looking at a RAM preview of our file. Let's begin. In this project, we'll be combining shape layers and layer masks right in After Effects to model the 3D spider symbol. The displacement map looks like this. If we remove the masks, we'll be able to see just what the shape layer does. You can see that we have created an ellipse using the radial gradient with these settings. If you would use a linear gradient, you wouldn't have this variation in the gradient. Using a shape layer allows you to customize your gradient. It allows you to assign different color values at various points in your gradient. The surface isn't flat this way and can pick up light and reflections better, in a more natural and realistic way. If we do an isometric view, we can see that the surface is curving and going in and out. So there you have it, looking good! Now let's get back to the combination of the shape layer and the layer masks. We can see how the reflections are picking up. Let's toggle back to the active camera. Next, we'll take a look at the two reflection maps we're using in this project file. One of them is called CB Reflection PSD. It's included in this project file. We're going to use it as a cubic reflection map. The other reflection map is generated with a preset that we created just for this project file. We're going to use it as a spherical map. We've also included it in the project file. We named this preset SSAE Spherical Reflection. Let's do a RAM preview. You can see that it's an animated reflection map, which looks really cool. We'll break this preset down for you. This preset consists of a fast blur, a radial blur, polar coordinates, CC flow motion, and a ramp. How to do it step by step. We generate a radial ramp, then add CC flow motion, which is animated. Then we add polar coordinates to create a spherical shape. Also add a radial blur to remove the seam. Then add a fast blur on top of that. And you're done! For the spider symbol in the background, we're using the CB Reflection PSD file. That's included with the project file. For the Spider-Man text, we're using the animated reflection map that's a pre-comp in this project file. Great! Now let's move on to the 3D rig. We've got three parallel lights only one of which casts a shadow, this one here. The camera is a standard 35mm. We'll come back to the camera move later on. If we look at this from the left view, we can see that our lights are positioned. One, two, and three. One is used to backlight. Let's switch into a two-view mode and look at how the camera travels. In the beginning, we're in real tight, as you can see. We move back and hold our position for a while. From there, the camera travels back in, almost behind the symbol, and then moves towards its final position. You can see that we adjusted the bezier on the camera path to create a nice smooth movement. If you examine the project file, you'll see that in the spider logo layer, we have several keyframes set up. We have a slight rotation in the X in 3D transforms in Shapeshifter. We've got an animated displacement height over time.
for the instances. There's no point in calculating six instances and all their geometry where it's not necessary. So we change from one to six instances over two frames. The instance offset is animated over time as well. The offset spreads the instances out over time. Then we've also got an incremental rotation that happens over time. So there we are, the Spider-Man logo animation is done already. Let's take a look at the RAM preview. We've also put together two more compositions for you to take a look at. Here's POV3. It's the same scene with a few variations. We've changed the parameters slightly. Take a look and you'll see how it's been animated. Next is POV2. Here's a RAM preview of that. You can see that just by changing the camera angles you can get some more cool results. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.